Hello guys and uh, welcome to uh, Five Knots channel. Here we are sailing uh, Bora. In Bora the lovely barge. 14,000. 40, 40 tons. Yeah, not your typical um, light boat. of the lee navigation where believe it or not in a 58 foot dutch barge not an airboat a dutch barge we have to make a u-turn focus mode when you're driving a barge you need to be all in with the uk government easing lockdown restrictions the canal and river trust officially announced constant cruises were with precaution and within reason to start adhering to the two-week mooring restrictions once again. So, without further ado, we finally began our annual trip towards London, for now moving through just one lock, taking us from Hartford towards where? Say hi for five knots! Uh, you reckon? I think I'm short enough. <laughs> 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 full steam ahead, Captain. Sorry? You have a request for full steam ahead. Alright. The whole time we've been in Hartford, I've been wanting to find out what this is. It looked like it looked like the remains of something, and it was something an historical place. But I had no idea what it was. I, I knew that this sign was on the wall, but we just couldn't read it. We've been moored just down there during lockdown. I even rode the oh, paddled the paddleboard up here one lunch time to see if I could make out what it was. So I didn't want to leave Hartford without finding out what this was all about. And it's the side of an old, old water mill. Yeah. Dates back to the 1700s, um, 1720s. They were milling corn then, and they added a water wheel later on in the 1800s that was used for spinning silk into threads that they get woven into the fabrics. And 2015, there was a lot of controversy over what they wanted to do with the site. They, wanted to build a block of flats which was rejected. Ideas for the site varied from a boutique hotel, a restaurant and moorings with a car park. The plans were not only considered inappropriate for the area but also risk, a risk to the mill house's survival. In 2015 it was agreed that two new homes would be built, the barn would be converted and the mill house would be restored. So there's two new homes down there. That's the, the mill house has been restored and this but it was the old, the old actual mill, which is all fallen down. Got what? <laughs> yeah, throw them in the water. Oh, good one. So I'm hoping you can hear me, it's quite noisy here, we're under the A10 uh, so that we can get the top coat done. So I'm about to start the sanding, it's about quarter past nine in the morning on Saturday. Um, Corey and Ollie have gone off to do some shopping on the bike. So it's just me for a little while to get going on the job and um, the weather's looking okay, it's sort of overcast, not too much rain, well not, not many rain really. So. Hopefully we can knock it out, sanding and two coats of top coat by the end of tomorrow. Here we go. So this undercoat that we've put on is literally like a sacrificial coat we've been talking about. Um, which basically means we've just put it down so that we can sand back to a nice smooth surface so that when we put the top coat on it goes on really nice and smooth. So hopefully that's what we get.
up 1.30, now washing down the boat. Almost ready to put the coat on. Corey's just moving us back underneath the bridge so we've got a bit more protection. I'm literally scrubbing the boat with a rag because we've got all these holes in the roof at the moment because uh, our hatches are off so that we can paint underneath and around them and uh, so it means we can't just get a big mop and bucket and go for it because we'll just end up with loads of water inside so least favorite job so far Are you nearly done? Yeah. It's the beginning of the end. So far to go. Yeah, we've come so far. First coat of top coat. First glass. So the rule of thumb is we're trying to do just like a a foot square, um, nice and thick, and then especially with the gloss, the top coat, you get loads of these air bubbles, so we're just using like a, a brush just to get rid of them and smooth everything out. Is it true that they sort of potentially create a bit of an air tunnel all the way down to the steel, is that right? So, and that allows the brush so, yeah. to down. Yeah. So, we didn't do it for the other coats, but the other paint will show up better finish for this coat. It's definitely better finish. Yeah. And gloss is pretty unforgiving. Yeah. All these tins are empty. So this is a pretty good indicator that we've done a good thickness, we've done the right amount of paint. On our boat we were doing 36 square meters of um, area on our roof and uh, according to this particular paint that means we needed to do sort of between three and four cans at 750 mils so yeah that's a good sign we've we've done a good job so it's a bit after seven o'clock I've just taken a little break to go and give Ollie his night his bedtime feed um, and Corey's just finishing off the edges for us we've got our first coat on I think it's looking pretty good. Um, it's nice to have a bit of a gloss finish. Oops, satisfying to watch, or satisfying to see, I should say. It's a, it's a satisfying uh, coat, let's be honest. It's been a long day. We've got one more, one more day to go, and uh, we're finished. I'm really cold. I'm going to go and have a hot shower. Um, and that's it. Talk tomorrow. Morning. It's about 6 a.m. on well, it's exactly 6 a.m. on Sunday morning. Um, the local rooster is crowing. Uh, the girls are up and the boys are sleeping. As in, Jerry, our cat, likes to get up super early, first light, and sit on my head. So I think it was time to get up and get going on the second coat while she goes off and catches mice. Um, so, there's a little bit of rain this morning, it's meant to stop by 7am, but it's sort of behind us, it's coming from the southwest, um, and it's not really hitting us at all, so we're fairly well protected under here, which is nice, so I can actually get going. Um, yeah, a bit of wind, so a little bit chilly, but that's okay, I just want to get this job out of the way early, so here I go. Ollie, are you painting? Bye. Bye bye. Hi Ollie. Hi Ollie. <laughs> I brought off the stairs. The brush fell on the stairs. 
is. Oh dear. So I handed over the reins and the paintbrushes to Corey about 10.30 this morning and he kept going for about an hour just finishing off the sides and the railings. Um, and so Bora's finally looking like her shiny self once again, um, which is nice. We've got both coats on. Probably need to do another sort of touch up around the railings and stuff at some point, but we officially need more paint to do that. So we'll grab some more paint at some point and just give the railings a bit of a touch up. Um, feeling all of my 39 years right now. Um, <laughs> and even so, I'm gonna go and have a lie down and Corey's taking the roof off. So uh, on to the next thing, I guess, already. Thanks for tuning in to Five Knots Cruising. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as it really helps us to get our video out to more viewers. And we'd love to hear your feedback, questions and ideas, so please drop us a line either on our Instagram page or YouTube channel.